Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, here are the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 34 of Less Platinum Resident Evil 2 Remake. Alright, so it's time to see if I get absolutely wrecked or if I can somehow manage to get past this part. I'm just checking if I was equipped. Hello. Come on! That's it! That's it! Oh god, they even liquor fill! Run! Wait, I've gotta use this. Run! Nice! <laughs> Alright, I think we're okay. This is still very dangerous, but yeah, we should be okay. So here's what we have to do now. So the tyrant is chasing us, which is terrible. But we can make it past. We have to go into here. Be very careful with the zombies. Uh, okay, somehow I got past. I don't know how. He was in the worst possible position and I still got past. Use the tool. Um... And now we've got to actually try and put this into position. He might hit me here, but... Oh, actually, no. we okay. Yep. I waited a bit there because I wanted to see which way he was coming from. Now, we have to be so quick here. Okay, unlock the door. Run in. Do that. Do that. Turn. Oh, crap. No, I don't think I'm quick enough. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Just don't hit me again. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> if I didn't have... well, no, even if I didn't have the uh, red and blue herb active, I would have still been okay. Alright, now we're pretty much safe, I think. All we have to do is get down to the dark room, but it's uh, technically not guaranteed that we'll be safe, especially because this person is right at the door and we somehow didn't get bitten. And we should be okay. Just walk around here. There we go. Use the aim function to kind of uh, make Leon turn accurately. Alright, now we get some fun. Let's do the portable safe puzzles. I'm so terrible at these, but if I concentrate, I'll be okay. So it's like one, two, okay, 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 okay. So it's one, seven, two, no, sorry, one, seven, five, one, seven, five, two, one, seven, five, two, six, four, three, eight, one, seven, two, no, one, seven, five, two, God, one seven five two six six four three eight one seven five two. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> All right, that's one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have a little been been a little bit quicker, but I'm terrible at these sometimes. Okay, so two one, two one three. That's easy. Uh, four two one three. Five, four, two, one, three. I know I shouldn't do, do it this way, but it works. Oh, okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one, three. <laughs> wow, that's pretty unlikely. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one, three. So only the wait, two, one. So if, yeah, if one and two were swapped over, that would have been one. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. No. Would it? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, okay, so what are we taking with us? First, let's pause because we don't want to waste any more time, even though it doesn't really matter. I just want to see how close I can get to two hours. You're looking at the time now. 57 minutes and, and you're finishing the game in two hours. I don't think so, buddy. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> uh, okay, take both spare parts, shotgun, shotgun shells, ink ribbon, large gear. Okay, so we're taking the large gear with us. Um, I'm going to implement this. I, I don't think think I will screw myself here. I'm going to take the box electronic part. Uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. No, I, I won't, I won't. I believe you can, and it will prevent you from having to uh, make a detour, or like make a stop over at the break room. But, am I forgetting anything? No, we're fine. But I think it actually is better to 
not take it and do the stop over at the break room, especially because it's not like we're not absolutely going for like an under two hour speed run. We want it, but we're not going for it. Oh, we're not going to get it. Okay, there's the tyrant. He shouldn't see us, I don't think. This lady is getting very close to us. Alright, so he's going that way, which is actually fine. We need to go that way too, but it's actually fine. He's in a real bad spot. No, nah, damn. I did hear him leave, but he might have got me because I ran. I don't know, I think we're okay. The liquor's here. Okay, somehow we're fine. <laughs> Alright, now this part's cool. So we place both buttons. And then we gotta try and remember all the combinations. So it's 102, 103, 106. We did 109 before for some bullets. 208, and 203. Okay, let's go this way. This obviously zombie man is in the way. This is why you can take the electronic part because you can get the hip pouch here and then you have so much space. Another thing that I haven't mentioned yet and I'm not entirely sure of, the, of this. Um, in standard mode, whenever Leon gets, well, whenever your main character gets attacked. Did I, was I supposed to develop a film before? I think I had a roll of film to develop and I didn't do it, but I may have to do it now. Damn, that sucks. Hang on, you know what? I'm actually going to do that again because I have a feeling I had a roll of film to develop and I didn't do it. Yeah, it's only the DCM locker film, but, you know, maybe I can get past this section without getting bit. I don't know, sorry. Uh, it's only going to be a few minutes, it's okay. Um, and it'll give me a chance to explain what I was explaining. Uh, oh, and I don't know if I talked about the witness as much as I wanted to last time. Anyway, um, what I was going to say was in standard mode when, um, where is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's for the DCM locker. In standard mode when you get bitten, um, Leon and Claire don't seem to run any, any specific, like any slower. They, they don't, like, it looks like they do, but whether, whether they actually do or not is a different story. Um, nice. Should be fine. All the zombies are in much better positions now. There we go. Look at that, this one's looking right at me. And I can walk right past him. Literally walk. Watch out for this liquor though. Oh, he went in here. That's really bad. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> that whiff. All I have to do is make sure I don't press a single wrong button. And we should be fine. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too loud in the mic when I raspberried. <laughs> uh, okay. And now we run like crazy. This is so hard to do. Especially because the other jerk's in the way. Oh! Or is it? He's giving me ample time. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh, open. That's fine. Open this one. Ah, oh, what happened? Did I take damage? No, no. Run! Don't do it! <laughs> wait, wait. Ah, oh, you're in the worst position. Ugh. Okay. Um, I totally shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I made it. <laughs> Grab the green herb. Now I'm gonna be real sneaky. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Go. No! Oh, that guy. Marvin! That's not Marvin, that's the other guy. We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I didn't have to do it, but we did it. Uh, okay, cool. Now I just have to hope that I haven't forgotten anything. <laughs> Alright, and that's how you get the green herb. Okay, obviously that green herb that I went for, there's completely no reason to get it, but 
just for the sake of the fact that I went for 100% items. I think what happened was I legitimately forgot um, where I was supposed to grab that. <laughs> I, I think I skipped the part of the guide where I was supposed to detour and grab that in a previous section, so I just kind of went for it there. No reason. I Look, I, I don't think anyone's going to go for my 100% ridiculousness, but um, at least now you know that I did it. <laughs> Very risky, but I did it. Gotcha. You kind of have to let them get so freaking close, and it's, it's so annoying. Alright, uh, large gear. This part is not hard, but god is it difficult to remember to pick up the box electronic part. I literally just go on autopilot when I get to this part, and I, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, do this, do that. You know. This part's cool. He runs up the, the stairs real quick when you do the, the aiming trick. Excuse me, um... Lunch is getting in the way. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, The Witness. So, I don't know if I actually end up really talking enough about what I wanted to say about the game. Holy crap, man. Like, I... When it first came out... Yeah, that's, I think that's where I left it. When it first came out, um... It was $55. Like, obviously, it wasn't reduced or anything like that. It was 55 Australian dollars. 55 dollary dues. Anyway, it was $55. And it was... I was like... Uh, that this is nonsense. I'm not paying $55 for this game. Like it looks great and I want to play it, but I'm not paying $55 for this game. Um, somewhat recently, uh, I've gotten now into the habit of just looking at the PlayStation Store just to see if there's a sale for a game. I think a lot of us unfortunately do that now. We just kind of like look for a sale and then it's like, oh, that's really cheap. I'll play it someday, and then you purchase it and never play it. Um, it's not like you never you're never going to play it, but it's you know it's unlikely that you're going to have time at least in the recent future, if, especially if you're like me, trying to do a full-time job and, and run a YouTube channel. <laughs> but anyway, I, um, so it was, like, it was like $17, like that's a lot better than 55 and this was like years later as well. I can't remember when the game came out, but this was like years later. Alright, just quickly to detour for my story. Open here, look to the right, there he is, he's stuck over there. Actually, the other one's stuck over there too. Perfect. And they never, they never affect you. Where the hell am I going? Um... I'm going down now to the, uh, back to the car park, because I've got both parts. Well, I've almost got both parts. I'm going to the break room first. This is why it doesn't matter to take the other box electronic part, because technically I could have it right now. I have plenty of space for it. Um, but it's good to stop off at the break room to save. I think that was the reason we want to do it, because this part is very tricky. This, by the way, if you complete this part, it, you're pretty much home free. The rest of the game is actually quite simple. There are a few like sort of annoying spots where even I'm probably gonna die, but the rest, um, the rest should be fine. Move. These guys. Now, here's why we boarded up the windows. Cause okay, I probably should have boarded up that one as well. <laughs> okay, so that's another part of my guide. You can change board up that window. I'm probably gonna get bit here. Uh, do I have anything to? St oh, I have a knife. But I can't use it because I'm facing the wrong way. That's fine. That part sucks. You either get bit or you don't. Okay, get rid of it, 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 there, get that, get rid of two of these, get the other one, let's heal up, how much first aid, oh, I've only got one, it's the lowest I've ever had, heal up, what are we taking with us, what, why am I, oh, right, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was like, why am I taking a flash grenade, and I just remembered, that is exactly what we need to take, so that one, and let's do the increment, there we go. Yeah, so as I was saying, it was like $17, but I'm like, as much as I want it, I, I know I'm not going to have time to play it. So I didn't buy it, and then lo and behold, it comes out on PS Plus, and I'm like, thank God. And like I said, I haven't had time really to play because I've been sick and all that. Um, let me just have a quick look at what I'm doing now. Okay, yep. So now we're heading to the... Oh, this is real bad. I really don't want to use another bullet. And I'm going to have to. No, no, I wanted to pause the game. <sighs> you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to load the game and do that again. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to play it, but I was sick and... Like, I was too sick to even really play games. You know when you're, like, sort of on, on the cusp of sickness and you're like, I'm sick, but I can still play a video game. <laughs> uh, but I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to play it. And then yesterday we, like, I don't know, I did a whole bunch of stuff and uh, my sister helped me, like, 
route this guide and everything and I was like I'll do the episodes tomorrow because today's Sunday and she was like oh let's play that game and I was like oh yeah okay let's do that so we played it and holy crap it is fun it's fun and it's really satisfying I really really enjoy it okay we got around I did not want to waste any more shotgun shells I've wasted quite a few more than I usually do so I was a bit hesitant to do that but we should be fine still I, I, I don't know what I'm worried about um, Alright, so now we have to go to save Ben, uh, or, well, not save Ben, I always say that, it, he's dead, he's dead, we just have to open his damn jail cell. I'm just so hell-bent on saving everyone. <laughs> Got like a hero complex or something, anyway. Um, try and your best to dodge these dogs, and be like, like the expert that I am, holy crap, I can't believe I dodged all of them. Um... Yeah, the game is super, super satisfying. Like, I thought it was actually really, like, it looked simple but also complicated when I was watching, like, playthroughs. I'm like, how are you supposed, like, what is the point of this game? Like, I, I couldn't figure it out. And then when you actually play it, like, ah, and then the game, like, really cleverly teaches you how to do puzzles without explicitly telling you what to do. It just kind of gives you, like, simple versions, and then you learn and learn and learn and learn, and then you have to put all those, uh, everything that you've learned together to kind of get it to work. Oh, that's great. Alright, so here we go. In the fewest moves possible. So it's that one. Um, that one. Definitely that one. I, like, I remember it. And then that one as well. And now... This one. This one. This one. And... There we go. That's how you do it. I can't remember exactly how many moves that was, we're about to find out. Uh, matter of Splatter is for killing um, 10 enemies, at least 10 en enemies with a shotgun, which I've done, and hardly any, any resistance is for the, the puzzle, and it's for doing it in 10 moves or less. So there we go. Well, wait, does it say 10 moves or less? Can't be 10 moves or less. In 10 moves, yeah, there's no or less. It's like, the, the, this is the puzzle, and this is how many moves you are allowed to do it in. Or well, you have to do it in. Okay, so exactly the same thing. Get his interview. Get the parking garage key. And now for some fun. I I like this bit, but it is it can be dangerous. Um, there are a few ways to do this section. I think you're, you can technically run through all those zombies. Um, but I like to do it like this, because it just seems simpler to me. Get here. Avoid the tyrant. Run past him. Be very quick. Because you're going to need to throw the flash grenade. Just don't worry about, like, flashing yourself. Just do that so you can get past. And we're done. One flash grenade to guarantee your safety. Because as soon as you get here, you get a cutscene. And we've seen this cutscene before. And now we go. And the time... Oh, the time is perfect. We're going to fly through this section. The next part of the game, by the way, like, the next, like, 15 to 30 minutes... Uh, maybe not 30 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is, like, super, super easy. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, well, yeah, no, I stand by that. It's it's really easy. It's it, Well, it's far simpler than what we've been doing so far. Um, okay, so yeah, we're going to be doing Ada's segment. Um, not today, but we're going to be doing Ada's segment next. Something to mention about Ada's segment is the fact that... Um, that actually, you know what, before I forget, uh, The Witness, if you are playing it, play it with someone. Play it with a sibling, a partner, a wife, you? husband, whatever. Play it with someone. It's really good because uh, my sister's, like, downsides... Um, I could compliment, and then my downside, she could compliment. So it was really fun to solve puzzles uh, when we couldn't work it out. We just kept looking at it and thinking about different things. It was really, really cool. Cool. So yeah, definitely played that with two people. Anyway, what I was saying about this was um, there was a trophy to get for Ada that we could not get during our first playthrough with Leon. Um, it's specifically for her, her segment, and the trophy was to um, let's combine that just straight on. The trophy was to complete Ada's segment without using anything other than the EMF visualizer. There's the same cutscene with the dude, Kendo I think his name is, I don't know if it's just the name of his gun shop or if it's his name or whatever. Um, yeah, so we couldn't do it because Ada, Ada's segment had a raccoon in it, like a raccoon to collect, and the only way that you could collect it was to shoot it. So. Um, now that we've actually collected that raccoon already, we can finally get through her segment without using anything but the EMF visualizer. And it's surprisingly easy. Um, yeah, I've done it like 
three or four times now, and it seems seems like it always um, oops, it always works. So you'll see that next episode because we're going to stop here in a moment. We're about halfway through, I think. Which is pretty nice. It's gone pretty well so far. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Getting through hardcore. Getting through the whole game, actually. That earthquake? The game uh, takes a lot, like a lot more playthroughs to do. It's quite challenging to route. Like if I was routing it, like to be the most efficient possible, I'd do it differently. But now that I think about it, like I don't know. This isn't too bad. I'll go over that more, I think, as we play, because I do want to talk about that a little bit. Okay, let me just quickly sort everything. Yep, that's it. We're only taking. Uh, you'll notice, like. Yeah, you'll notice a pattern of me taking the absolute bare minimum of stuff. It, that's like kind of on purpose, like that was how I kind of routed it. Yeah, 11 out of 21, so we're just over halfway. It was kind of how I routed it. I was like, yeah, this will this will work. Like we don't need anything other than this to, to complete it, so may as well stick with that. Um, all right, so that was a good that was a good episode and we got past every, uh, like all the hard stuff in the game. So now it's pretty much smooth sailing to the end. Hopefully, oops, hopefully, fingers crossed. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 34 of Less Platinum Resident Evil 2 Remake. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.